in my jacket? Where the f put in my jacket? Hey, give me a refund. <laughs> This is our country. Okay. Croatia, this is Europe. Okay, okay. For white people. Okay, sir. Okay. I go. No, not for black people. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir? Hey. Stealing. I think I wasn't going to catch him. What are you doing, sir? Do you have your receipt? Don't you see me with a receipt, sir? Oh, I just want to make sure, man. You look like you were up to no good, and we don't play that in my store. Are you serious? I'm very serious, sir. Can you take a look at my receipt? Let me see this. Open the back, please. Open the back. Jesus Christ. All right. Okay, you check out, man. Listen, you look like you were up to no good, and we don't play that around here. So you actually thought that I would come to steal here? Yeah, man. Why? Why? Huh? Yes, I do. Well, why? Why do you think I was like I was, I was too? Because you were walking around only for one item, man. You could have gone to the no. gas station for that. No. Why'd you have to come to Walmart? No, you actually stopped me because of my color. Because you think I'm a black person, so I could probably be a thief. I'm the same color, man. But exactly. I don't care. Exactly. That's like... why you should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, but you look like you're up to no good, man. I know you're kind. I've seen you around. So before. you think our people? Uh, it's not our people, man. It's your people. My people oh, are here at Walmart. So you make it worse. Look, uh, uh, my people, African. Yes. I'm just like you, bro. You're nothing like me. We're nothing alike, so don't even compare us. Bro. Hey, I checked your receipt. You're good. Now get out of here. This is very ashamed of Before I call the cops, man, see, do you the, want problems? You're the, you're the reason why... Hey, you're going to stop talking to me like that, okay? Take your receipt and get on out of here. Dang, get on out of bro. here. It's sad. You got to the count of three. Everybody One, talking about you two, guys and us. Now three. you're showing it. No, I don't care. You're going to have to get you out of here. Care. Sir, go. Sir, have a nice day. You should be very ashamed of yourself. This motherfucker coming to our store stealing. We'll follow you out. Make sure you don't do nothing else, man. Now, let's talk about what is happening or what is going on with the Jamaican couple. It is quite unfortunate. It is quite unfortunate to what has happened to this Jamaican couple, ladies and gentlemen. It is really, really quite unfortunate. And this signals one thing, that black people are not loved around the world. It is time for black people to drop down the crab in a barrel mentality and, a draw and, and adopt the I and I mentality. Adopt the I and I Jamaican spirit. That's what the Rastafarian of the Jamaican people say. I and I. Your blessings are my blessings. Your problems are my problems. We are not, after all, we are not loved around the world. Nobody likes us. Huh? Look at what has gone with the Jamaican couple. I hope they return those items and file a lawsuit against those people. Don't look at my skin color. Yes, don't look at my skin color and judge me. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Black people, we, let's unite. Let's not fight each other. I hope the Jamaican couple that were discriminated discriminated because of their skin color because that is the only reason they went and bought the items they bought at the store with their own money but because of their skin color somebody accused them of stealing i hope 
I hope they filed a lawsuit, a strong lawsuit, because that is very painful. Hmm? Jamaicans are our black Israel. They are our Israel. Those are the true Israel. Believe or think what you want to think at this moment. And please, the people that are coming to fight me on the comment sections, please. Life is too short. Life is too short to spend your time fighting someone because of YouTube, because of views. Please, use that time intelligently to unite or speak something. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen. I came to get my stuff and this guy attacked me with his kids. I took the video but it's not long but it shows everything. They attacked me and my son. Family. They beat me like they were beating a boy. They even split me naked. Family. They even split me naked. Family. <laughs> they hit me in front of my son, sleeping there. Oh me, oh me! They hit me like they were. He hit me like he was hitting a man. Bam! My son was watching. Bam! Give me my ID. The police officer, please give me my ID. Okay, please give me my ID. Can I have your name? Do you know that is criminal? What you're doing is not legal. That's not your ID. That's my possession. Please give me my ID. Please give me my ID right now. No, please give me my ID. Sir, Zatko, just stop it. Just stop this. Just Zatko, please just Zatko. Is he giving it? Oh my God. Maybe I should call my dad. So why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? So I, I am calm, Zlatko. Zlatko, please, please, let me handle this. They already hit me. There's nothing more we can that can that you can do. I need this police officer to give me my ID. Ladies and gentlemen, our African sisters, especially here in Africa, some of them, some of them, pray to God and wish that at some point in their life they are going to get married to a Caucasian man. Yes, I'm saying the truth. But unfortunately, some of them end up, some of them end up in the wrong hands, annoying to them. And, you know, there's a difference between loving someone and worshipping someone. When you begin to worship someone, you devalue yourself. You devalue yourself. You look at that person as a more of a higher being than you. And at some point, you will forget and you start undermining yourself. You start bad talking about your own lineage. You start bad talking about black communities. You start bad talking about your own family. You start bad talking about your own country where you come from. And guess what? Since you are saying all this to this white Caucasian family, do you think they will, they will respect you? They will not respect you. They will not respect you. And at some point in life, because you have worshipped them and you have devalued yourself, you have looked at yourself like a nobody, and they are going to treat you like the way you have seen yourself. They are going to trash talk you. They are going to beat you up. To an extent, some of them will even kill you. Hmm? Look at what has happened to that lady in Croatia. Look at that what happened to that lady in Croatia. 
Look at the kind of humiliation that this lady has faced in Croatia. Look at that humiliation. It's quite unfortunate. There is a difference. I'm not saying that you should not get married. I'm not saying that you should not you should not love the Caucasian the people that you're you're into a relationship with. But at least please don't devalue yourself for anything. Don't worship anybody. Only worship God. Ladies and gentlemen. Hmm? And let me say this once again. Black people should unite. Black people should unite. It's very important. It goes deeper than that. Hmm? Look at what is happening in most of our countries, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm? Our own our own systems are so motivated to make sure to, to keep uh, to keep uh, Africa as depressive as it could get. Someone stealing billions and billions, your own black person stealing billions and billions of money and then stashing this stolen money in foreign accounts instead of injecting this same same money into the society, building companies, building industries so that they can provide opportunities for the young people. But what do these people do? Because of their selfishness and greed, they go out there and open Foreign accounts and stash all those stolen money there. Ladies and gentlemen, how unfortunate. The black people should unite. We are the problems. Hmm? I was reading a story about a woman who had saved a lot of money in the Caribbean. She had saved a lot of money for over 50 years. Then when she came to withdraw that money, the money was not there. How painful is that? Someone has saved for 50 years, for 50 good years. Then you mess up. He just like that. You, you mess with her money just like that. Huh? Sometimes our own black people, we need to rethink about ourselves. We need to start coming and loving ourselves. Stop treating, let's stop treating each other like nobodies. Before we can even engage into another conversation of racism, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? Let's drop down the grab in a barrel mentality. You're always trying to pull down your own brother. And this is why I love Jamaicans. This is why if the world were if the world were half as Jamaicans they were, they are, this world will be a better place. Hmm? Yes, if you lived in peace, love and harmony and support for each other, trust me, you won't have to buy anything using money. You won't. Hmm? This is not your country. I okay. Where are you from? India. India. Go home in, okay. in India. Okay. 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 Huh? okay. Where, where are you going from? India. No. Okay, you go. Finish. Finish, huh? Yeah. This is our country. Okay. Croatia. This is Europe. Okay, okay. For white people. Okay, sir. Okay, there you go. No, not for black people. Okay, okay. He's calling this Indian guy the N-word, even though the Indian person does not identify as being... Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have seen the clip. Black people should come to a realization that we are not liked that much. We are not liked. Ah, we are not liked. Ladies and gentlemen, hmm? we are not liked. As black people, we should speak with one language just like the way marcus gava wanted africa and the caribbean and black americans should unite and speak with one language let's drop down the grab in a grab in a barrel mentality it does not help us it does not help anybody respect your fellow black man don't worship anybody Hmm? Don't worship anybody. Have you ever seen a Jamaican worshipping anyone? Huh? Have you ever seen a Jamaican worshipping anyone? Uh, do you, don't you see how Jamaicans have a strong community based? Don't you see how Jamaicans speak about repatriations? They are the one of the very few people that want to connect back to the motherland. That thing really, really made me so happy. Ladies and gentlemen, hmm? This is why I love Jamaican so much. Hmm? When it comes to revolutions of the black nations, 
Revolutions of the black nations cannot happen without the Jamaicans. The Jamaicans are our Israel. They are, they are our black Israel. Revolutions can never happen without having Jamaicans on board. And I'm not praising. These are facts. Think what you want to think. If you are going to have a revolution for black nations, Jamaicans will be on board because they are true fighters. Secondly is the Haitians. The Haitians, those people don't play around, ladies and gentlemen. They don't play around. Those are the people that love Jamaicans and the Haitians. Majority of them, they love the black people. They love Africa so much. So much. What are you talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for unity. Just like the way Marcus Garvey wanted. I feel so bad when our black masters, our governments in Africa, I call them the black masters. When white masters left, black masters came and took over. I feel so bad for what they are doing to us. And in case of revolutions, in case of any revolutions, if there is ever going to happen. If you are raised and schooled in the United States of America, and you have gone to school for 13 years, K through 12, and you aren't a racist, you weren't listening. Now, people really resent it when I say that. But wait a minute, folks. Who do we say invented everything, discovered everything, did all the writing, did all the reading? People. Eventually, maybe you'll actually say when the teacher says, Christopher Columbus discovered America and he met those Indians here. There were no Indians here when Christopher Columbus got here. There were people from Africa who had been here for over 10,000 years before Christopher Columbus was born. It's time for us to teach our children the truth. And it's time for us to say, okay, we're going to talk about Black Lives Matter. People, everybody trace your DNA back as far as you can trace it. And you're going to find out that every one of you has in their DNA some DNA from a country in Africa. That's a fact. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about these new findings? Let me know in the comment section below. Hmm? And she's a white lady. She is a white lady. Not all whites are actually bad. Not all of them are bad. Hmm? Not all of them are bad. Some of them are really, really good. They are really good people. But if you happen to meet a bad one, it's going to be worse, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm? <laughs> what do you think about these new findings? And to those people that keep denying the African, we are not African, we are not African, African ancestry. Huh? Anyway, thank you so much for watching my videos up to this point. And please subscribe to my channel for those people who have not subscribed. And uh, as we move ahead, as we forge ahead. But I love what this white lady she has said i love what she has said ladies and gentlemen and i just don't laugh because because it suits me no